Hi everybody and welcome to Traveling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to St. Petersburg. Yes, I'm not in Moscow, I'm in St. Petersburg and I'm actually at the largest Pitorichka in St. Petersburg. We're going to have a very quick walk around but I want to show you something quite particular and then later on I'm going to take you for a bit of a walk around a factory where they make this item so let's go and check it out. Now I think a lot of you have watched some of my other videos and going to Pitorichka. But this is the largest one in St. Petersburg. Maybe it's the largest one in Russia. Have a look how big it is. This place is huge. And this is kind of, you know, exactly what my channel is about. Going to see shops, supermarkets, all sorts of things. But I know a lot of you watched my tour of the bread factory. After seeing my favorite bread in Pitorichka, I uh, got to go to the factory where the bread was made. Have a look at this place. How big it is. Now, actually over here, they've got a clothing store attached, but this Pitorichka is huge. And they've got big self checkout section over there as you go to pay and leave. And then, Wow, I'm a bit overwhelmed with how big it is. Everybody's getting coffee over there. Or there's a coffee station. Now we're not really gonna go for a big walk around in this Pitoreshka. I really wanna focus on one section, but have a look at the bread. They've got that in-house bakery right here. And then let's go check out some of these dairy fridges, shall we? Now, one of the reasons that I came to St. Petersburg is actually to come to see a fish factory and see some of the production of the products here in Pitorichka. Now, one of them is right in front of me now. I think everyone needs to let me know in the comments. Have you had seaweed before or seaweed salad? Now, this stuff right here, it's basically seaweed in a container with some oils and brines and then there's a salad version here with different mayonnaise but please let me know have you had seaweed salad before now in a few minutes time we're going to go and check out the production of that coming over to the other seafood shelf the other thing that i want to point out is a few of the different seafood items here now one of the things we're going to go and have a look at is this caviar. Now, this is caviar that we know, but it's basically imitation caviar or manufactured caviar. But we're going to be able to check that out as well. And also the fish right here on this bottom shelf. So there is a lot of different things, uh, probably more than I realize and more things than what I even buy myself. But Checking out the uh, other thing as well is this mixed seafood right here. So shortly we're going to head off and go and check out how these are made. Now I'd really love to spend a bit more time walking around this Pitorichka because it's the largest one in St. Petersburg. But we really want to go check out how this fish is made. Okay, so I'm almost heading out of here but I'm just distracted by how big this store is. So I think the next thing we need to do is get on outside and get on in the bus and head to this fish factory. So we're heading off now from the Pitorichka and we're heading to the fish factory. We're heading uh, out of St. Petersburg to a regional area where this factory is. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the ride and I'll catch you when we get there. And getting out of the bus, we get our first look at the factory. Looks like they're doing a little bit of renovating of the car park here, but you can see all of the uh, behind the scenes before we head on inside. And we're heading to that blue building right ahead of us. Anytime you drive around St. Petersburg or Moscow and you see these blue and white buildings, it's always a curiosity in your mind. What's being made in that factory? What's behind the walls? 
and finally I get to see one and have a look what's been made right here. Before going into the plant we were given an induction uh, talking about the different hygiene standards of the plant and what to expect walking around, what we had to wear, where we could walk and just an overall uh, safety procedure talk about the plant and the different standards that they keep. Part of the tour, of course, we have to wear all of the uh, safety equipment, or well, mostly for hygiene. So everybody here is all kitted up, including myself, and we're off on our tour. And here we go down into one of the first rooms. And we're gonna go check out the production of fish. Lots of different things we have to pass through to go inside. Hand wash, foot wash, so there's no possible contamination. We can see here one of the freezers with the different fish that arrives frozen. And different types are kind of in the back. And of course we're getting a little bit of a look behind the scenes here. So, you know, they're opening the different doors for us and we can see some of the seafood we can see just off in the distance one of the workers bringing out the shrimp from the oven or the boiler i guess it's called and then he's going to bring it over here to this conveyor belt which essentially cools down the shrimp back from the boiling temperature back to room temperature and we'll see it slowly moving over here and they're preparing now the next step to put it into these barrels. Coming over to the next step, it's very much all made by hand. Of course, there is some production line here, but the ladies and some men are basically preparing the different seafood mixes here to go into the containers. Oh, this is really cool. Well, anything like this that I see is very unique. Now, I am actually on a tour with some other people, so they're gonna walk right in the front. It's pretty interesting to see the uh, staff doing this all by hand. So they're basically taking the different seafoods and these are for the mixed seafood containers and they're weighing them out and then the container keeps moving along and each different seafood gets put in there oh my favorite mussels right here oh and then from there it goes down the production line on towards the packaging i just want to make a point about how clean this factory was and all the different personal protective equipment everybody is wearing and just how immaculate the place was. And then here we can actually see the containers getting the marinade added. You can just see it there. The three different containers line up and then the marinade gets added. This guy puts the lids on and it heads on further down the production line. And are we going to see it? There we go. Simple as that. Of course, the complexity is actually making this machine, not necessarily putting the vacuum on the container. And then it moves along then a little bit further. After the lid and vacuum is put onto the container, it goes through a wash right here, and then it's label time. And from here, the staff put the labels on and make sure that the Labels are on correctly. And then they put the dates on them right there in the barcodes. And that's how it's done. I'm at home right now, just finishing up the video. And I did actually intend to have a scene between the different buildings. So I'll just explain where I was walking to and from. Uh, we're gonna see three more different processes of making fish products. And the next one is actually gonna be caviar. And then we're gonna also see them making a seaweed salad and then also some fish or cured fish. 
So I hope the video is interesting. I am going to do some voiceovers because it was very loud in the factory. Uh, it was really super interesting to do this walk around. So I hope you're enjoying it as much as I did when I was there. This is one of the tanks where they're preparing the caviar and basically it's a boiling process. We can see that red color. And then from here, it goes in these pipes and heads off to the next process. After completing the cooking process, it goes through a series of pipes to an entirely different room here, where it then goes on some conveyor belts to the final processing of the caviar. It is very loud in here, but this is the process of making the jarred caviar. And after coming from the process downstairs, through all these different pipes, it makes its way here. And eventually right here. It's a very interesting process to watch the making of this caviar right here. And the different steps that it follows the different brines and salts and ingredients that they're adding. And it's really very interesting to see. This is the final step where the actual caviar gets put into the jars. You'll see the jars uh, lining up four at a time. And then there's nozzles that squirt it into the jars. And then from there, a little bit further on in the distance, it actually then uh, gets the lids put on them. And then the lids are actually vacuum sealed once they're actually screwed onto the jar. And then there's actually a washing process where they wash the jars. And then this is actually downstairs in another room. So the jars move down to another production line where they're fed onto this machine right here. And then they'll actually get the labels put on them. You see all the jars there on the different trays. And then they go through this labeling machine. Uh, they're also checked and quality controlled as they go through as well. So they're kind of x-rayed if you like. And then this is the labeling machine right here at the end. Where it sticks the labels on. And it's sort of a place where you can just stare at this and watch the jars just going on and on and on on this line. And then eventually they come around to a packing station where they get put in the boxes and they're good to go. There's actually the shrink wrap going on the packaging right there as well. And this is all automated, so it's a little bit easier than doing it by hand. As the air conditioning machines are whirring away, uh, we're walking now from one of the uh, production lines to another. There's actually a series of five different buildings here. Uh, each one has different types of fish production and manufacturing. So we're gonna go check out another one right now. Moving to a different plant, here we have the seaweed production. So it comes in blocks, essentially from wherever the seaweed has come from, right? It's different parts of Russia, the Far East, different parts of Asia. Then they put the blocks in for washing here and separation and different steps before eventually it goes up this conveyor belt into a cooking process where they actually uh, cook the seaweed. Here it is coming out from the separation. Doesn't look overly appetizing, but if you like your sushi and your different Asian dishes, this is heaven. Finally, it comes out of the last cooking process and it then goes into these containers to move on to the packaging and processing. Now, I know a lot of you don't think this looks particularly appetizing, but again, if you're into Asian cuisine and salads and different foods, this is for you. You can actually see here, after they take the seaweed out from the cooking process, they add the marinade and the liquids for basically pickling or brining the seaweed. So after the marinating and pickling process, the seaweed is then moved onto this very large conveyor belt. It's fed in there on the right hand side. It goes up this long belt to the top of the building almost. And doing that, it's basically separating out the seaweed so it's easier to go into the containers. You'll see here the person loading the lids onto the machine. 
and the containers coming around. And all the time there's different people checking the process of this happening. So this gentleman here is pulling any container off that might not have sealed properly or it's not to the exact standards that they want. This lady right here is then loading them on to be labeled. And she's also using a scale layer to double check the weights are correct. And this fancy machine is pretty cool. It separates them into three different lanes. And then the cardboard box machine right in the background there then puts them straight into the boxes. And this gentleman then just takes them off, puts the labels on, and they get put right onto the pallet. So I just decided to dash to one of the local Pitorichkas. Now, as you can see, I'm actually at the factory. Now, interestingly, Pitorichka has the Fish House brand produced at the factory, which is Baltiski Beric, which is a very well-known brand in Russia. And then the Fish House brand is the brand that was created specifically by X5 Group for Pitorichka. So you've probably come to the store before and seen the brands on the shelves. You can see here the whole range of Fish House products. Now, me going to the factory, Pitorichka is not hiding the, the fact that you know, they're making them at the Baltiski Beric factory. And by me going there, they want me to share with you the quality of the product, the manufacturing techniques and how clean the place was, how, how high their standards are for manufacturing and packaging. And it shows in the products right here. This is the seaweed right here that we've seen. And this is the smoked fish. And you can see in the store, they've got all the range of fish house products and some that we've actually seen at the factory and some that are actually made at some of the other locations in Russia, both in St. Petersburg and in other cities. So I'm going to dash back to the factory now and continue the tour. From the seaweed building, we're now in the smoked fish building. And here they're actually taking the individual fish and then feeding them onto skewers. This is all done by hand. It's really a very skilled job to do. There's no machine that can do this. These ladies uh, picking out the fish and putting onto the skewers. And then there's a gentleman here putting them onto the racks, which will then go into the smokers. And there's a length of time that they're smoked and then they're brought off right here into the next room. And then they're laid out and then there's different ladies that are actually picking the fish, putting them into the plastic containers and putting them on this line right in front of us where the actual labels go on there and then the vacuum sealing happens. It's a very neat process to see it. And then they come out the other end with the labels on. They're also checking the weights of them as well and making sure that they're all exactly how they should be. And then if one's not right, they pull it aside and it moves on and gets ready to go on to the boxing process right ahead of us there. And it's as simple as that and it's done. So part of the tour we also got to come and have lunch and have some of the things that we saw being made. So there's some samples right here and some salmon and some of that caviar and everybody is very happy I think after we saw the production. I think, you know, it's the way it is. You see food, you want to eat food. And here we are enjoying ourselves. On the grounds of the factory, they actually have a fish pond here, but this is just for the looks of the factory. And this is kind of the garden where some of the staff come and spend time and relax and when they've got gatherings. But there is fish in here. I haven't seen any. Maybe they're uh, down the bottom and they're a bit camera shy, but it's pretty neat to see. Um, I don't think possibly there'll be enough fish in here for the factory. Okay, everybody, we've come to the end of the video. I really hope you found this interesting. For me, it was really cool and very interesting to see the different processes and essentially from the raw product to the shelf. It's just so interesting to see this and to understand what's uh, needed and what it takes to get that product on the shelf in the store. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you can give it a thumbs down. I know people not always giving thumbs ups. So thanks everybody for watching. If you uh, want to post a comment, let me know what you think of 
the video and do you want to see more things like this? Do you want to go to see more factories in Russia? Let me know in the comments. I put another video for you to watch right after this one. It's going to come up right now on the screen. Maybe you want to watch an older video on the channel that you've not seen before. That's waiting for you right now. And I'm off on another adventure. Bye, everybody.